Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying a California Pizza Kitchen. This is the Four Cheese. This is a crispy, thin crust pizza topped with two types of mozzarella, fontina, and hickory smoked gouda cheeses over herbed tomato and olive oil sauce. It says our real ingredient promise, 100% real cheese, no artificial flavors, preservative-free crust. Uh, it is a 13.5 ounce pizza, 382 grams, and it was $9.49 at Kroger. So, $9.49 uh, seems a little expensive to me, but... I don't know, it's currently seeing some of those are 10, so... Oh, are they? Yeah. Okay. So... Okay, that's how it looks. So what you want to do, it says four easy steps to delicious pizza. You want to preheat your oven to 400 degrees, which we've done. It says prep, remove the box, plastic wrap, and cardboard. Place your pizza directly on center oven rack, uh, six to eight inches from the bottom of the oven. Skip the cookie sheet. Nothing should come between a pizza and its oven. Bake for 13 minutes. Uh, time is usually just right for a crispy, delicious pizza. So, you do get a uh, piece of cardboard, which is great. Keep that. You can take it back out of the oven and you can cut it on that cardboard. Um, but we're going to put this in for 13 minutes exactly and then we'll come back. Okay, so this is how it looks after 13 minutes. Um, now, we could have left it a little bit longer, but I think it looks good partially. And so Kevin always half set for us. Um, he'll get three slices and I'll get three slices. So this says, at California Pizza Kitchen, we search for the best ingredients available, finding inspiration in each carefully crafted cheese, vine, ripened tomato, and perfectly balanced uncured pepperoni. The thoughtful creation of recipes and passion for mindful ingredients are at the core of every delicious pizza we offer. So to those like us who approach food with mindfulness and an adventurous spirit, we hope you just found a delicious new favorite from our kitchen to yours. It's cpkfrozen.com. Three servings in the container, one third pizza is uh, 310 calories. The entire pizza is 930 calories. That's, I like it though they do that. And it says they have, uh, it says try these other exciting flavors. It had a pull tab. I'm just now saying. <laughs> I did. <laughs> there was a, I tore open the side. There's actually a pull tab here. I'll know for the next review. Um, but it says try these other exciting flavors. Sicilian recipe, margarita, barbecue recipe chicken, and white. We bought a bunch of these to review, mm -hmm. so... I think some of the ones weren't even mentioned there. So, this one, um, this, w the four cheese, I decided to just grab it first, um, because it, I figured it would be the plainest, so maybe not, though. The crust is very, um, like, not flaky, but it's almost like a cracker. See, it's got these little blisters on it. Yeah, you know how you get a like a saltine cracker. See, it's got the little oh, blisters on yeah. it. Yeah. It says, "Do not allow pizza to thaw. Do not eat pizza without cooking." <laughs> I can't imagine eating just a frozen pizza. Pizza is done when cheese is melted and edges are golden brown. Um, that is extremely, extremely plain. Mm -hmm. Very plain. Very, very, very plain. There is not much to that at all. I do get some seasoning from the sauce. Mm -hmm. Like it's a garlicky kind of flavor. Mm -hmm. But even the tomato flavor doesn't really come through very strong, does it? Like no. you don't even really taste like tomato. And the cheese is not very strong. I like the crust. I like the texture of the crust. It's nice. Um, crunchy crust. It reminds me of one of those, um, you know, like the non bread mm -hmm. that you can get. It kind of reminds me of that non bread. Um, the uh, 
the sauce is almost it's very very plain it's, yeah it's almost like it doesn't have any right it, i mean it clearly does yes and and you do you do taste some of the cheese but that is one of the the plainest pizzas i've had yeah and we've had lots of we, cheese pizzas are one of our favorite pizzas absolutely and there's not a lot of flavor there i told tammy when it came out of the oven and i put it on the thing i said it looks like a carnival pizza you know when you buy the piece of pizza at the carnival, like the fair or circus or wherever, um, it kind of looks like that. It's really thin. The cheese is kind of thin. I don't know. It's like you're eating a cracker. Yeah, it's just not not a lot going on because they sell it as much as they can, as cheap as they can mm -hmm. at a carnival right. or a fair. Right. That's what this kind of looks like. And I'm sure that's very insulting to California pizza. It kitchen. probably <laughs> is. But just so you know, just going off of what Kevin said, um we love cheese pizzas yeah. so we yeah, so love, that's not the problem no that's not the problem we love the bessie's revenge screaming sicilian pizza we love the motor city. motor city pizza the there's a five cheese bread there's also a cheese pizza mm -hmm. it's a, like a three or four uh, cheese pizza um those are both excellent so we love those and have bought those again and again so it's just this in particular it's the combination of the cheese and the sauce it's like it's not even worth your calories mm. to eat it because um it just does not have the flavor so was it worth ten dollars or no. 950 absolutely not because no, you can get no. like i said you can get a screen z for like 10 bucks and this is for the child or adult who just wants plain who mm -hmm. like they don't they they can't handle um any kind spice of spice anything any kind of seasoning if you have to be on a bland diet for some reason this would be the one for you yeah and now for me i'll eat this for dinner yeah but i'm gonna take some nature seasoning and sprinkle all over it. right yeah it needs something it needs a little salt it is yeah. salt. just basic yeah, but nature seasoning, has, salt, nature seasoning has salt in it. Uh, would help it. Yeah. Um, it need it definitely needs something because it it's just boring. It's and plain. you know what? That's why I wanted to start with this one. Usually when we're doing a bunch of pizza reviews, we try to to start with the first one. Of course, somebody might watch this video years from now, and it, it might be in the middle of all the other ones. But um, we try to start with the plainest and go from there. So. We have bought other flavors. Mm -hmm. I couldn't tell you what flavors. We I know bought. we bought the Sicilian. I know we bought the Sicilian because I. Thought, and I know we did not buy the white because it was spinach. Ah, okay. I wondered and if. And we, we didn't buy the margarita. We wouldn't have bought the margarita because it's just tomato. Tomato, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I know we bought a barbecue chicken. Mm -hmm. So. And I know for sure we bought the Sicilian, but there's other so, ones in there too. So yes. I don't know that so, yeah. So there will be other reviews of these mm -hmm. and. Um, if you're wondering about the single serving, um, they give microwave instructions on those single serving boxes. And so anything that gives microwave instructions, Kevin is willing to try on his lunchtime review channel because they don't do, uh, he doesn't do ovens on that channel. He just does microwave, shelf stable, stuff like that. So if the company is confident enough to put microwave instructions, well, then he will give it a try that way. So he has reviewed a lot of California Pizza mm, Kitchen out of the microwave on that channel. So if you're interested in how does it work in the microwave, you can go over there. I don't remember. Yeah, just point. type in <laughs> lunchtime review and then California Pizza Kitchen, those reviews will come up. Um, but so all the ones that are going to be baked in the oven, we're going to be doing them on my channel, on our channel. So, um, not one we would get again. Very plain. Total pass on this It's one. not horrible. It's just very, very plain. Not, I would, like you said, not worth the calories. I would be willing there to pick any, any brand, any at all over this yeah, because it's so, so very, very plain. It is. So, I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.